Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Today's card day. And if you're new to my channel, I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And today is card day. And I've done this card before. It's been a while. I know it's probably been about a year, this type of card. And you know, I just sat down and I was like, I can't remember the name of this, but I'll put it in the video. What type of card? I think it's a swing card, but I can't remember for sure. But it opens like this. It's really easy to do, but it's such a fun card to do. And I think it's something that you're going to really make over and over because it's one of my very favorite types of cards to do. So this is what I'm sharing today. I am using another retired stamp set. I'm trying to use some of my stamp sets that are retiring because I'm really going to miss some of these. And this is one of them. It's called Brew Some Fun. So it is got, I love the little cup on it right here in the little mug and I did use this year my cup of tea because yes I'm a tea drinker too and I used the let's brew up some fun on the inside of this card just like that now the little spots I wanted to look like splashes of coffee so I am using for that contour color and contour um, stamp set and both of these are retiring and I'm using these little splatters that are on here right here for the little splatters but you can use whatever kind of splatters you have I just thought it was really cute it looks like it was just splashed onto the card and then I'm using my layering circles and I'm using this um, scalloped one and then I'm using these two circles I'll tell you what the sizes of these are right now because I'll forget this is a three inch circle and this one is probably two and three quarters inch and then this one's just to, to cut out the little inside piece and this is about one and a half inch circle so if you have punches or whatever you have you can use that but the layering circles are awesome to have I use them a ton and you don't even have to do a circle you can do a square you can do an oval on this card on the technique so whatever you like to do then I am using our Bright's, Bright's Collection Designer Series Paper. And this these designs are going away and we are getting some new ones in the new catalog coming soon. And I think that's everything. All right, so let's get started. We, so then you'll need a piece of crumb cake. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And you are gonna score it at four and a quarter. And we'll have an extra scoring mark. I'll show you that when we get to that. And then to mat it, the designer series paper. I didn't have any more of the other pattern that I used, that little plaid, so I'm gonna use this one. It's four by five and a quarter. And then you'll need scrap basic white to stamp on. And I already cut my pieces that I'm going to need. So I'm, you need an extra scalloped uh, circle. And this is in crumb cake. And then I'm doing it with the Coastal Cabana. And this Coastal Cabana is the two and... It's actually two and a half inch circle. So it's two and a half inch. And then you need one for the inside that's two and a half. And that's just basic white that I'm using for that. All right, I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and stamp first and get our pieces ready, and then I'll show you how to do the card. All right, so I am going to use Memento Black, and I am just going to stamp the mug and the little cup, and then we're going to color those with our blends. You do have to fussy cut those, by the way. And then let's see, I have another piece here. We are going to stamp with Early Espresso, and we're going to stamp this circle that says, You're My Cup of Tea. And then we might as well stamp the inside that says, Let's Brew Up Some Fun. And that's going to be on the basic white circle that we cut. And we'll do our little splatters. We can do it on the inside piece. We'll have to do the other one when we get that on. But we're going to use crumb cake for that. 
So I'm just going to do a few little ones on this side and on this side. Just like that. And then we have the die for this and we'll color these and I'm just using light and dark pool party and then I'm using some Bermuda Bay and light and dark crumb cake. So I'm going to go ahead and color this and I'm going to speed through it because y'all have seen me color lots of times. It's just simple coloring. I'm not doing anything fancy. Okay, so I'll show you those up close. So those are the two little ones. I'm going to fussy cut these and again, I'm going to just go ahead and speed through the fussy cutting. Again, you couldn't get any easier fussy cutting these. They're super, super quick and easy to fussy cut. All right, let's bring up the cut and emboss and we'll run this through. And then I'll show you how to do the card. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and score this piece because you need to see where we're scoring this. So I'm using my trimmer here. We're going to score it first at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to move it over and we're going to score it at two and one eighth. So it's half of the four and a quarter side. So you're going to have three different, you're going to have one score mark here and one here. And that's all you need for this. So what you're going to do, I have my purple tape out here and my die. You're going to center that on the side that you scored the two and an eighth inch there. You're going to center it in the middle and you're going to center your score mark in the middle there. I'm going to put a piece of tape on here and you want to make sure you're going to cut out the right side. You want to cut out the inside piece. So here's where we're going to fold this. You want to cut this half. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to do, you're partial cutting this. I'm going to turn it this way so I make sure I cut that right side. You're going to put this edge to your score mark. Make sure it's really straight, and then you're just going to run that through. It's really simple, y'all, and it's only going to cut half. So I'm going to take that off, and it's only going to cut like that. So this is going to fold like this, and that's your card base. Really, really easy. So let's cut out our little piece here. Our, your my cup of tea and we're all done all right so what I wanted to do is because I'm using a scallop you don't even have to do this you can just add this piece on here but I really wanted to add the scallop on top so that I have the scallop on this side too so I'm going to add some wet glue and you're going to want to line up your edges of your scallop this is such a fun card, y'all. And then you have your card here. I'm going to show you a trick on how to get your inside sentiment on. And then we're going to do this piece, and then we're going to stamp our little... Let's put it this way. And then I'm going to get my crumb cake back out and my little splatters. And we're going to splatter this card here and splatter here, just like it's splattered like all over your card. And then I am even going to splatter actually this side, but I, what I need to do now because I should have splattered that part first, I need a piece of scrap. I'm going to stick that under here just to get it on the edge here. I didn't want to get it on my 
Although if I did get it on the back here, it wouldn't really matter because I'm going to mat it. So let me see, what do I want? Do I want this side or this? I think I'm going to go with the other side there. You're going to mat that. You can also, on my other cards, I actually matted this part too on some of them. So you can check that video out. I'll link it in this video. And I'll also link it in the description. All right, so then we're going to glue this on. Let's get it the right way. And I'm going to grab my little teacup and my... Oh, we're going to use this some more, so I don't want to put that down yet. But we're going to put pop these up with dimensionals. So I'm going to do our little teacup, and I'm going to use a small dimensional, one of our minis. This is going to go in the center. And then I'm going to pop this up on the side. It's such a cute little friend card. And then to put your sentiment on, use some removable adhesive and just place it on here on the front. You're going to place it in the center here. Make sure you got it straight. Hopefully I got it straight. Center it in here, then put your adhesive on the back. You'll close that up, and then you'll pull it up. And you can even just turn it like, I need to turn this, I didn't get it straight. And then just rub off your adhesive. Yeah. And then it's right underneath your scallop piece. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add just a little bit. To the sides here just so it's splattered across there you can even put it on here I didn't think about that but I think that's enough <laughs> so there you have it it's all done but look how cute these are aren't they really cute to send would be cute to send to a friend here's the other one but yeah it was they're really fun to do and I think you'll really enjoy it if you need any supplies, this is my April Hostess code. If you place an order, I would appreciate it if you use the Hostess code. And I hope you all have a blessed day. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.